Hey guys, how you doing? It's LG. I just wanted to make a quick video today because I'm working on a Nissan Frontier truck. This is a 2019. It has the 2.5. It's a QR25DE. Very popular in the more recent uh, Nissan vehicles and trucks. These have timing issues like every other modern vehicle. The timing chains do wear and things break. I just wanted to show you about a couple things. First of all, how to time it. This isn't exactly how to time it because the timing covers not off, but this is a great way to check it. It's not very clear in some of the Nissan manuals, but you will see down below, the crankshaft pulley has three marks on it. I highlighted the one mark using some white out. The surface here on the forward portion of the crank pulley actually has divots cut in it where you could put your fingernail and get caught in there or a small screwdriver. There's two marks ahead of the timing mark that you need to use. There's two marks very close together here. From the factory, these are painted white. The paint is long gone. And this one's generally painted red. The paint is long gone. I don't care about these. I just mark the one that goes to this pointer. And if you have the right angle, you have to go off to the side because that mark is not at 12 o'clock. I take a straight edge and make sure my paint lines up directly at the tip of the pointer. And now what you want to do is you want to look at your intake gear marks and your exhaust. You could put a 19 millimeter bar. You see I got a ratchet and a socket on the crank pulley, 19 millimeter hex. Rotate the engine clockwise only. Never rotate counterclockwise on a chain motor. You could cause damage and the chain could slip. Secondly, this is an oil passage in your VVT gear. The oil, the cover that goes on here has a nipple with O-rings that goes into the oil passage. Put a rag or something over this hole or in here, lint-free. It has to be lint-free. You don't want to, you know, cause any clogs in here. Before you rotate the engine clockwise, because when you start rotating, the oil pump is going to push oil out of this hole, and it'll start squirting at you and going all over the place. The marks you want to look for, there's a hash mark right here in this like horizontal surface versus the vertical going straight up and down. Careful about that because this mark here is not the mark you need. You need this one that's on this surface. And you wanna pay attention to the little keyway, so to speak. There's a little nipple on the cam that fits in this slot. This has to be up, but it's actually supposed to be to the left. This chain has skipped. This mark here has to be slightly to the left of center as well. This shouldn't be at 12 o'clock, more like at 11, and slightly forward, not, a, not this a timing cover hole, this bolt here, this mark should just be slightly ahead, and this guy here actually should be slightly to the left. And when it's slightly to the left, there's a small hash mark here that'll be roughly above this thread patch in the actual timing cover surface. So you ignore the bolt here and you go with this hole. And on this side, you actually go with this bolt and you ignore that right there. So I know we slip, we're off just one tooth. The engine still runs. It's setting a retarded timing code for bank one because bank one is the only VVT gear with the cam sensor. Cam sensor's in back of the uh, head, by the way, not in the front. And it's not advanced timing, it's it's signaling that it's the timing is retarded based on the slip here, okay? Now that's how you wanna get a decent idea how things are lined up. I have other hard evidence that this chain slipped. This is your upper guide that I have on the workbench. This thing was cracked and it was just sitting in here. It, it fell down on top of the chain, but with the cover on it had nowhere to go. So I slipped this off. This is a broken guide. That's not gonna help the chain tension. And look at the actual chain automatic chain tensioner that feeds oil. You see that nice shiny mark on the nipple? That means this chain recently skipped and the nipple came forward to take up the slack. That shiny mark is recent and the oil stain in front of it proves that this thing was, the, the uh, pintle was riding to the left back a bit before the chain skipped. And when the chain skipped and we lost that upper uh, chain guide, this thing popped out. Another major, major problem. This upper cover houses your oil solenoid. The oil solenoid slips in this hole. All the oil pressure has to be directed from the uh, oil pump. It goes through the timing gear, the VVT gear into this housing. 
and the oil solenoid sits in this cavity and controls the pressure by throttling back and forth, and that's your return hole. There is an O-ring that you don't want to lose in the, the block section here where, the, where the, the rearward timing cover is. In other words, this is the main body timing cover. That's just a front sub cover for the VVT solenoid. This O-ring down here, you don't want to lose that. You want to replace it. Look at what happened to these O-rings. There's three O-rings on this pintle, and all three just fell apart when I walked the cover out gently. They're like glass. They're hard as a rock, and they crack. They don't bend. They, I can just take this and snap it, okay? So these rings have to be replaced no matter what. This could actually have been causing a lot of the problem as far as uh, timing uh, fluctuating quite a bit because even if the valve's working and has good oil pressure, you're, you're blowing oil past these seals, okay? Now, the last thing, I gotta shut my air compressor so you can hear me. The last thing you have to understand is if you look, The last thing I wanna go over with you guys, if you look on All Data or Mitchell or a place like that, get yourself a diagram of how the timing marks work and you'll see what I'm saying. This hash mark here is slightly forward of this interior bolt and it also shows the keyway for this sprocket, that's your exhaust gear, has to be slightly to the left. It can't be at 12 o'clock. Secondary hash mark here is above the, the cover bolt hole, the thread patch, okay? So everything I explained here is right here. I showed you how these marks work at, with the reference of the bolt and not being perfectly at 12 o'clock and then the hash mark here with this bolt hole. That's all outlined here. Just get yourself a service manual of any kind or you could download this stuff online sometimes for a small fee. You're gonna see how they want this thing lined up up top. And then you're also going to see those three marks I talked about for the TDC. Ignore the forward marks, go with that one. It's really not that hard. Um, it's going to be harder if you have this engine in a car because the engine's going to be transverse mounted. I'm lucky that this engine is front to back and it's easier to get in here without ripping everything off. But you will want to take your serpentine belt off and you want to take your uh, air snorkels off that, that go across the front here. Not too difficult. I hope this is helpful. It's all about checking to see if you skip timing and then the repairs come later thank you